Hi my friends, let's model the part number 46 fixing block from my collection of uh, 100 parts. You can see here, by the way, that uh, every modeled part is placed in colors and this one are in uh, their original presentation. Yes. You see, this is what you expect to see here. Okay. Let's see how looks this 46 part. This is the part, a block with a rib here and some holes and other features. The drawing is suggestive, yes. There are a lot of uh, fillets which are not dimensioned here and we have to uh, adopt our two. The only fillet with other radius is uh, uh, this one. Let's start. We start with uh, only two lines. And their dimensions are 120 and 64, these two lines. 120 and 64. Home. These are our first lines. Now we see that both walls are uh, 15, yes, and we apply an offset of 15. We place the end lines and we extrude symmetrical on uh, 64. Symmetrical, symmetrical, 64. Okay, now we place this uh, protuberance of uh, 24 millimeters diameter at 82. This face circle of uh, diameter 24 placed on the same uh, vertical with the uh, center point. And uh, dimension of 82. 82. Finish. Extrusion is four millimeters. Extrude four. Okay. Next is uh, this rib. Yes, you see it. You don't see here, but there is a rib with a thickness of 10. And as you can see here, uh, it must be finished 
at uh, uh, this uh, face of the last extrusion. To be sure that uh, we uh, cover all the face, I'll make this uh, line the contour to create uh, an extrusion on 10. I create this line and I go through the middle of this extrusion and then back to have a flat face here. Yes, look, the plane is XY, F7, I project this line to catch its midpoint and I start from that midpoint down and then to this face to this face and I go up to the level of uh, uh, the last uh, the first and I connect them yes I am sure that I have no gaps around this uh, contour, the, this uh, cylinder. <clears throat> okay, now dimensions. The only dimension is, no, two dimensions, 55 and 21.5. Dimension 21.5. and this sloped line at 55. Good. Now, I, you, you have to understand what I say. If we extend this with the extrusion, this uh, um, face, cylindrical face can be not connected with the uh, rib. But if the contour is this, uh, I am sure that it will be good. Extrude symmetrical on 10, which is uh, by default. You see? This is the motive. Okay. Next is uh, to create these uh, two walls. 34 from 64 divided by 2 is one of them. I create a sketch here. a line, an arc, and I go down. This is uh, radius 13, as you remember. Finished sketch, extrude the other direction and the uh, thickness is uh, 764 minus 34 divided by 2. Okay. Yes. Now I mirror this last feature about uh, XY plane. And you see what will be. Good. Now we have radius 14, a semi circle here. The center is on this line.
I create a circle with a radius of 14 and I place the center on the midpoint here. Finish sketch, extrude, cut all the way. Okay. A hole here of uh, 14. Hole, face, concentricity, 14 is uh, already placed as a value. Good. On the bottom, a contour with radius 6 and 15. Face, sketch, line, arc, line, and closing, F7 to see X is to the right, horizontal, this to point, radius of uh, 6 and distance of 15 again extrude cut all the way okay this uh, cut has uh, chamfer 2 at uh, 45 2 at 45 is uh, by default so I apply and I go the last are two big holes in the walls 30 distance 82 from the base 38 As usual, I create a point, a sketch with a point, and then dimensions. Uh, 82 and uh, 38. Finish sketch. Hole 30. Okay. Now, if I delete or I move end of part here, we can always use dimensions on a face to create a hole. The procedure is this select the face and then a, a side right dimension 38 then the other side and right 82 30 is uh, already used and the hole is created yes not only with uh, creating a sketch as I made it here with this sketch is the way to create a unique hole when uh, you have more than one is better with the points of course so I uh, apply right click and I delete all features below end of part yes so this last uh, uh,
procedure is uh, in this part. The last thing is this, the undimensioned fillets radius 2. I select only one and two is the default value and then I try to cover all the edges from inside then this contour also this edge and also this yes I see that this is a, a radius this part is a cast part a cast part yes really f6 okay that's all the radius I mentioned I see that here is a radius if I apply a radius you can see that it exists here good now let's select the material which is uh, steel carbon cast and some faces to be machined I suppose that these are the machined faces that's all the part data are here two kilo and uh, a quarter about that's all for today bye bye